uh, do you guys struggle with perfectionism? And if so, how do you learn to balance that with the with working in a fast paced environment? The answer a little bit is in the question that fast pace doesn't allow you to over perfect um, because and I mean, yes, it takes practice because we're all used to before we get into any kind of a work pipeline, we're all used to being our own creative directors and and just working on something until we're satisfied that it's done. Um, but you start learning pretty quickly, especially if someone comes to you and says, OK, look, we can spend about an hour and a half to two hours on each sketch. <laughs> you know, that's basically that's that's, that's really the, our target yeah. most of the time. Mm -hmm. And so then at a certain point, you just have to see like, OK, did I hit essentially like the bullet points of the requirements for for this concept okay i've got the poses i've got the lighting i've got the likeness you know i can tell who's who okay on to the next one you know and then and what we're what we're doing it up you can tighten it up but so yeah what we're and what we're doing is we are we are budgeting our time so that was something that we really had to learn how to do and both of us even going through art center, you get a lot of these people that are like, I had to pull an all nighter last night. And I'm like, dude, it's not even finals. What the hell is wrong with you? And you get a lot of these people that just didn't know how to budget their time. I think both yeah. he and I came in late enough that we had learned how to budget our time on other things. So I did one almost all nighter where I got three hours of sleep going through art center one. Yeah. And, and so it's that budgeting of time so that we can say at the end here, we want to have about, four or five additional hours so when all the sketches are in and everybody's looking through them when people are like change this change that change this change that we have enough time so that we are not right up against that deadline trying to get stuff in and not and we're not all slammed and not everybody's stressed out so it's we have learned how to budget that time accordingly and generally it's an hour and a half to two hours per sketch and we that's that's how we count out the number of sketches that are going to get done in a day and how many are going to get done on a project and how many people we need to put on that project to make sure that it gets done. Yeah. And so with that, basically a key, a key factor is knowing your process. You know, as an artist, you have to know your process well enough. Um, Cause that was one of the things through. So I'm at the end now of my 13th year as a sketch artist. You know, but one of the things I always had, even going through school, was that I knew how long it would take me to get to something, unless it was a brand new technique that I had never tried before. But when it came to drawing, I, I've i always known within about five minutes how long a drawing will take me, you know, and, and that's that's huge. So if you know that, well, okay drawings take me like four hours to get to this point, you know, whatever point that is, then you might, you might say like, Oh, okay. So I need to work on my efficiency, right? Cause, cause that's, what's going to make you faster is being more efficient. It's not about moving your hand faster. Cause it's more about like making fewer parts, right? Be more efficient. Line economy. Yeah, mm -hmm. Be more efficient in your mind and art making. And that will get you to a better end result faster that just kind of just scribbling around frantically trying to find something, you know? Um, so, so just understanding your own process is, is key, I think, to not being a super perfectionist, you know, but also recognizing that you're trying to sell a concept through. So it's not about as an art purist, it's not about what is the most beautiful sketch I could do. It's what's the most beautiful sketch I can do in this amount of time, right? And that's that's a huge thing. Like I can look at a lot of my work sketches and it's not like they're the best thing I've ever done, but I'm proud of them considering how little time I had to do them, yeah. you know? So it's, it's- Whereas he'll, I'll look back at mine and I'll be like, God damn, that sucks. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, yeah, that was like an hour's worth of work. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm cool. <laughs>
Thanks for listening to this clip. You can see the full interview by clicking the link in the description, or you can click the thumbnail on the bottom left of this video. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Have a great day.